Idaho Stampers Deb Valder here, and I'm here to tell you that it's time to start preparing for Easter. So today I have one of the old-fashioned Easter baskets. We used to do these when we were in um, elementary school, but now you can do one with your envelope punch board. So let's get started. So this is what it looks like on the side without losing all my eggs. i to put my eggs in one basket here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's so very, very easy. I started off with a piece of um, cardstock that is 8 by 8 inches wide, and I'm going to take my punch board and I'm going to start um, cut or punching and scoring. So what I did was every two inches, so you're going to go to two and you're going to take and you're going to punch and you're going to score, but don't go all the way down. You see how the paper goes, whoops, let me just push this over. Um, see how the paper goes off um, of your punch board? You don't want to do that, otherwise you're going to end up, especially if it's designer series paper, you're going to end up um, cutting your paper or ripping your paper. So just, um, you want to punch at the two inch mark and then score. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to punch and then we're going to score again, only going down um, a little ways. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to do another punch and score. And you're going to do that on all four sides. When you're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do it again. We're going to take and we're going to punch it at the two inch mark. But this time what's going to happen is, is when we score this, it's going to meet up with the other line. And that's why it wasn't important to get it all the way off to the edge of the paper. So you're going to do that all the way around. So each side has two punches and a score mark that goes all the way down. So I would just take it here and I would punch it and I would finish my score. And I would do that all the way around. Okay? Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to um, line up two of the notches. Um, so when we got, when we're when we um, have all that done, what we need to do is we need to line up two of the notches. So what I mean by that is we're going to take this notch right here and um, just line it up square with your board. You're going to line this up right here so that this little divot goes right into the gully. And we're going to take and we're just going to score that all the way across. It's not going to go to the other end, but it's just giving us a score line so that we can bend it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite side. And uh, we're going to go all the way over here. So these are complete opposite sides. This side and this side are the sides that we did. We're going to line up this little divot right here in the, in the gully. And we're going to take and we're just going to score. We're not punching. We're just scoring. All right? So now on, on both sides we have um, these two flaps that have a score mark. We're going to leave these two flaps plain. We're not going to do anything with them right now. Okay? So the next thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to change colors here. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is just fold in all of your creases. All of the creases that you have, just take and fold them in. Once you have that done, we do need to cut next. So we have these two ends right here that we, we um, these two ends that we uh, have the score marks on the flaps. And these two ends right down here that have no um, score marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut up on the ones that do not have any score marks. So we're going to cut here, 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 and here. Okay? Everybody got that done? All right, so now we're ready, believe it or not, to put our basket together. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these two, and I, <laughs> they laughed at me when I did this in my class. These are my two fighter pilot pieces, okay? So these pieces right here look like a jet fighter, and this one looks like a jet fighter, and this is the runway. So what we're going to take is we're going to take two of the wings of the jet fighters, and we're going to take, and on one of them, I'm just going to take, and I'm going to put my, um, I'm just going to put my uh, uh, mini glue dot. All right, so I just put a mini glue dot on there. You can put as many as you want, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your fighter plane wings and you're just going to line them up side to side. Now, you don't want... Oh, my, my glue dot didn't come off. Um, you don't want them to go too far in. You want to just make them so that they're, they're even. If you go too far in, it's not going to work. You just want these right here on top to be even all the way across, and you have this little triangle on the bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. If you feel more comfortable using something other than glue dots, um, you, you know, you can do that too. Um, I just love mini glue dots. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to line up my two um, fighter wing planes, wings, and um, I have my triangle on the bottom. Here's my two fighter wing planes. So now we have a box that looks almost ju just like this, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to add adhesive to this. And uh, you can use anything. Like I said, Tombow glue. You can use um, your snail adhesive. Um, this is cardstock, so I would use something um, that's going to really hold it. And I wouldn't make the basket out of designer series paper because I think it's just going to be too flimsy. 
Alrighty, so we've got that much done. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our bone folder from our, um, our uh, envelope punch board, and we're going to use it to just draw a line right here. And what that's doing, we're just scoring it, and I'm just going to score it a couple times, and what that does is it gives me a score mark so that I can take and I can bend this over easier. Alright, we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just going to take and we're going to score it just a couple times, just enough to give it that little line to uh, fold over. So that's why over here we did that on the board because we wanted that even. This one, um, if we did that, you'll see that the uh, score mark would have been here and that would have not that would have not worked. So now what I want you to do is to put a strong adhesive. You can put your Tombow glue. I'm just putting snail adhesive because it's a lot faster for me to just show you this because I know you don't need to um, have a whole lesson on adhesives. So let's just um, throw that together like this. And now our basket is done. It's ready for our grass, but we do need a handle. So let me show you this cute, adorable little handle that I did. Um, you'll see, I hope you can see, that it has scallops on it. And what I did was I used my new rotary cutter, and I put on it, let me just show you a little bit about the rotary cutter. Um, this is right here, the, um, the cutter itself. You lift this up, and you can change these little um, blades. And this one, it shows me right here, it happens to be the wavy scallop one. So where these little, um, these little nodules are, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to slide that in there. Those little nodules help you get it in and out. It, it's just like your finger grips. All right, so this one happens to be the wavy line. We have a whole bunch of them that you can interchange, but for this one, I just thought it would be cute to get that little wavy line. So I did it once just to get the edge going, and then I'm going to do this at, um, I'll do a half an inch handle, maybe three quarters of an inch. No, that's a half an inch. Okay, so I'm going to just do a half an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up here at the top, and what you do is you press this down. All right, so I'm just going to press this down and run it down. So now I have this really cute little handle. All right, so what we're going to do is, yep, you guessed it, we're going to take our mini glue dots, and we're just going to take and put one here on the inside, and one here on the inside, and we're just going to hold off on putting that on for, for right now. First thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take, and I'm going to use one of our paper doilies. Let me just show you. I'm going to take and use one of my paper doilies. And what I did was I just took a full one, I folded it in half so that all of the scallops matched, and then I am going to use snail on this one because if you try to use Tombow, it um, wrinkles it. If you try to use uh, mini glue dots, um, that, that you use, just use, end up using too much. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to end up laying this down here just like this. And here is our little doily. Now, with this one, what I did was I um, added some of our um, petite petals, and you can get this in a bundle. There's the pet petite petal stamp set and the punch, um, and I just added that and added some um, pearls to it. But for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So what I did was I made one of our envelope punch board bows. So let me just put this on, and then I'll show you how I did that bow. And I just put a little bit of snail on each one of these little circles also. Okay? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to add this to this right here, just get it centered, and then um, glue it on. All right, so let me just show you how I made the little bow. I took my um, envelope punch board, I took a piece of designer series paper, and this one just happens to be the Rich Regals. I used Elegant Eggplant so that it matched my Wisteria Wonder cardstock, and um, I, I cut it at 1 and 7 eighths by um, 1 inch. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to put this at the one and a half inch mark and punch. Then you're going to slide it over to the three and a half inch mark and punch. And then I need to flip it over so that I get an even one on this side. So one and a half inch and punch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this and I'm going to do them right across from each other. So we're going to go one and a half and punch, three and a half and punch. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do one and a half and punch. And then what I do, and I do this with cardstock and I do it with designer series paper, what I like to do is very carefully hold it not in the middle but off to the side here and just kind of um, curl it with your um, bone folder and do the same thing on this side. It just helps it, especially if you're using designer series paper, it just helps it curve. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, you guessed it, mini glue dots and I'm going to take and I'm going to put on the back of it 
I'm going to put a mini glue dot here. I'll show you real close in just a minute. And one on this side. Let me just show you where I put them. I put one just to this side of the notch and one to, just to this side of the notch. And what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to fold them together and then fold. See how I just lined up that little um, curve? And then I'm going to take and I'm going to fold it back. So it's all one piece. There's no um, fussing around with... Um, with the little tabs. Um, I, I just squish those two together and then I put this one back. Now if you want to put some adhesive, which I like to do, um, again, yep, you guessed it, mini glue dots. So I'm just going to take my mini glue dot and glue that one down. And then with this one, my mini glue dot, and I'm just going to glue this one down. And now we're ready for it to add it to um, our little um, basket. Oops, no we're not. I need to do one more thing. We need to put a little center in here. So I just cut a little strip of paper, and, yep, you guessed it, put a little mini glue dot on there. Uh, whoops. And make sure the glue dot sticks. Okay. And what we're going to do, start it on the back, and then what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put another piece of mini glue dot, and then just roll it around, just like this. So I rolled it to the front, and then I rolled it to the back. And now what I need to do is to just trim it off. And there is our little bow. You can fluff. You can add a little pearl in the middle. Add your mini glue dots here. And we're just going to add it to the side of our, our little basket. And then you can just add your um, you can just add your little handles to the inside. Remember I already put my little mini glue dots on there. And here is your basket. Isn't that adorable? Um, just in time for Easter. I hope you can fill it with all kinds of good stuff. Take care. If you have any questions, just let me know. Hop on over to my blog for all the dimensions in writing. And have a great day.